Alright, so as a lot of you might know by now, I do play most of my games on PC, and I prefer mouse and keyboard. With the PS5, we tried mouse and keyboard on a couple of different games, and it was a pretty good experience. And now with the Series S, we're going to go ahead and see how that experience is as well. So the Series S actually has a USB in the front right here where you can plug things in, your mouse or keyboard. And in the back, we have two more as well. The mouse and keyboard that we're going to be using, uh, they're both going to be wired. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. As usual for my mouse, we're going to be using the Ultralight 2, the Final Mouse Ultralight 2. For the keyboard, we'll be using my Ducky 1 2 Mini. So as far as settings go, we're going to go ahead and head over to the settings tab here on the Xbox. In this mouse tab, the only option you really have here is pointer speed, kind of like the PS5 and the PS4. The only other thing you can do here is switch your primary and secondary mouse buttons. I assume that's if you're left handed, I want to say, so that it switches the mouse one and two buttons. This is pretty much all you get for settings in the mouse tab, and there is no keyboard tab here, I see. So not sure if there's a keyboard option. I know PS5 has the key repeat and the key delay and all that. I don't see that here. I'm sorry about all the wires everywhere. Normally I don't have this like this. Normally the mouse wire is behind the desk and everything, but for the sake of the video and it needing to reach the console over here, it has to be like this. So we visited our settings. The only setting we really have is pointer speed. It is by default set all the way up. Hopefully that doesn't mean we have crazy sensitivity in game. But the first game we're going to try out here is Sea of Thieves. Uh, so there's no support in the menu, in the UI. There's no cursor. We have to use our controller. So let's go ahead and start up Sea of Thieves and put the controller down over here so that you guys can see that I'm not using it for any weird reason. We're in the game now and immediately you will see that I have a cursor and it actually feels really good, this cursor. I think my DPI is set to 800 right now and the pointer speed was set all the way up to 10 but this cursor feels pretty good all right we're in the menu let's go ahead and pick adventure uh, sloop it's just gonna be a test so in game this already feels really good very responsive even though there was no keyboard settings that i saw in the settings tab the keyboard responds just fine jumping feels good uh, let's put this away sword every all the clicks and all the buttons feel fine literally no delay no anything i can pretty much this i've played this game on pc as well and this is pretty much what it felt like it feels identical to the pc experience at least for this game how do i get on this ladder i forgot how to play this game f all right yeah f All the controls feel really good, really responsive. Now, of course the game does have to support mouse and keyboard. As you saw, the system itself doesn't just allow you to use mouse and keyboard in every game. I just want to say that Sea of Thieves probably has the best looking water out of any video game I've ever played. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Now, I know delay is a huge problem for a lot of you guys, or a huge concern for a lot of you guys wanting to play on mouse and keyboard. The monitor that I'm playing on is a 165Hz monitor. I can max out on the Xbox at 120 in certain games, and it's a one millisecond response time. So, inputs are very spot on on this monitor. Input delay does sometimes have to do with your monitor's response time. If you're playing on a TV and you're playing on mouse and keyboard, you're probably not going to feel as accurate or as well timed as on a monitor. Just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people, uh, really want no delay, but it will depend on your monitor and a couple of other factors sometimes if you're playing on lower frame rates it doesn't feel as precise either i've noticed myself on ps5 when i'm playing at 120 hertz it feels a lot better than when i'm playing on uh, 60 hertz or 30. there's a couple of variables that go into it just know that the console is capable of giving you a delay free experience all right let's check out the game settings settings keyboard and mouse will be the first option you get here now the game does have to have keyboard and mouse settings for this to work. I've said this time and time again, I know a lot of people just want to plug it in and play it on whatever game. Games like Apex Legends do not have mouse and keyboard support. You have to have keyboard and mouse support through the game for this to work. We got keyboard layout, we got remapping options, a bunch you can do here. Uh, 
You could change your DPI on your mouse and it affects the DPI in the game. Considering that I have the pointer speed set to 10 or max in the Xbox settings, it does feel very normal in game. I guess if you go any lower than 10, it'll just start to feel really slow. But just remember that if you mess with your pointer speed, you also have to mess with your DPI on your mouse and get the right sensitivity. When I first tried mouse and keyboard on console, sensitivity was a huge problem. You got to make sure you get those sensitivity settings right and don't mistake sensitivity for delay or things like that. Just get the right sensitivity, make sure it feels right and you should be good to go. All right, so Sea of Thieves definitely works, 100% works with mouse and keyboard, feels just right. Compared to PC, I have no complaints. I've played this game a thousand times on PC and this feels just as good as the PC one. But this is just one game scenario and certain games, you know, the experience will vary. When I played Fortnite on PC and compared to console, it's a little bit different for me. Maybe it's just because of how much I play on PC that I have to get used to it. But I will be doing a Fortnite specific video probably and a Warzone specific video. I will hop into Call of Duty real quickly though, just to show you guys that this is also supported in there. So Sea of Thieves, definitely check it out on mouse and keyboard if you haven't. It feels just fine. I've already tried Warzone on PS5 with mouse and keyboard and that is locked at 60 frames and that's pretty much the only complaint I have with that. The mouse and keyboard support works perfectly fine over there. And the cool thing about the Series S or Series X is that the game, uh, Warzone is actually boosted on here. So you get over 60 frames. I watched a Digital Foundry video where they're running Warzone on the Series S at around 90 frames, sometimes 100. It doesn't get to the 120, which the console max is out at. It does get closer to the 100 mark, and that is really interesting and really good. I have actually played quite a bit of Warzone on the Series S, and I have to say, compared to the PS5 and compared to my PC, this is actually my preferred way of playing the game right now, just because of that frame rate boost. If we go to options, of course, we have our keyboard and mouse tab. You can mess with your sensitivity here. You can mess with uh, your smoothing. You can enable or disable mouse smoothing. Make sure you have that disabled, actually. I'm not going to get too in-depth with settings here, but mouse acceleration is on here it is set to zero so if people are asking is there mouse acceleration blah blah, blah that is set to zero and everything else feels pretty precise here uh we could go to controller here i know there's a where do we go general in the general settings we want to make sure we're selected on keyboard and mouse or we'll be locked on the controller and we can't change in game let's go ahead and jump into a private match or practice match so i did say that i prefer to play on here as of right now because of the frame rate boost something that is still holding this game back from really feeling as good as it can is the fov and you can see right here the airplane is super zoomed in the lack of an fov slider is just uh it just sucks and it's the main thing holding this game back from truly feeling as good as it can I have been sort of getting used to playing without the FOV and the more I play the less I care about it but it still bothers me and I wish it was still there. They are working on an FOV slider for this game and uh, they're just working on a version of this game that is meant for next gen consoles. Right now we're playing the Xbox One version, the PS4 version of this game. So it makes sense that we don't have all those settings just yet. That's why it's so nice I think that this game is boosted. I haven't messed with my keybinds so all these keybinds are actually not set to what i normally have them to but that's okay this is just a training match this is just to show you guys that everything works pretty good spot on once again this actually feels a lot better than the first time i tried to play on mouse and keyboard on console which was on the ps5 and my sensitivity was just throwing me off entirely i haven't messed with sensitivity at all like literally and it feels great this is a bot lobby i didn't want to jump into a real game because i'm not on wired connection Yeah, so far the shooting feels good, running, sliding, everything feels spot on as it should. There's no delay once again. And this is partially, in my opinion, uh, due to the frame rate. I'm not saying that f low frame rates cause delay. You can perfectly, you can play a 30 frame game and have no delay at all. But it just feels like I'm more precise, more accurate, and timing is just overall better. On higher frame rates i really don't know why i was single firing this gun uh really don't know there we go but yeah running around looting shooting jumping sliding everything feels really good on mouse and keyboard on the series s 
this was my first time actually trying mouse and keyboard on here just for the camera and stuff and I didn't mess with any settings and it felt really good. I've been playing on controller a lot lately for this game just because I haven't wanted to have all the wires and stuff passing through the desk. This is the first time I actually set it up to play on there. Overall, pretty much a solid experience all around on the Series S with mouse and keyboard. I have used the same mouse and keyboard for all my mouse and keyboard tests. Ducky 1 Too Many, Final Mouse Ultralight 2. If you don't know what those are, look them up. I'll leave links in the description probably. You can't get this mouse anymore unless you buy it for resale. But uh, yeah, that was a little bit of a test there with Sea of Thieves and Warzone. I might do a Warzone specific video with actual gameplay from real matches. And I will be testing Fortnite as well once I get that installed on there. But uh, this was just a pretty quick overall first time hands-on sort of video. I'm sorry if I was a little bit out of it today, guys. I am feeling a bit under the weather. I'm a little bit stuffy and been pretty tired lately. But I did want to get this video out finally for you guys. I couldn't get the Elgato to function properly with the Series S for some reason right now. So I do have to look into that and see how I can fix that. But hopefully this was enough for you guys to understand that mouse and keyboard is a pretty much all around good experience and is worth definitely trying. If you don't have a mouse and keyboard and you have the Series S and you're looking into this, definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.